Here we go, buddy. Next match. Oh, I actually dropped frames at some point. I didn't even notice. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and... The Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to finish with the KP Coopers. Um, okay. We can do this. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were gonna square off, and now it's on. Battle! Get ready yourself to battle! That's actually insane with this music here. It, it like starts off at a rocky like jam here. Oh wait, I did not tell them, didn't I? Shit, um, well, hang on. Here, we're gonna do this first. Said five turns or less. That's a KP Paratroopa. It's a Koopa Paratroopa of a different color. HP is four, attack is two, and defense is one. Its attacks are the same as your average uh, garden variety Koopa Paratroopa. So just as the same thing as you always stomp on it, flip it, and drop its defense to zero. My hand bonk is pretty effective against it too. All right, let's go do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even actually realize I dropped frames somewhere, but it's like 24, so I don't think it really matters. Wait, did I? Oh, because uh, it's not a paratrooper anymore. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? I have to tattle them. What am I doing? All right, all right. Give me the tattle. Give me the tattle. KP Koopa. That's a KP Koopa. It's a Koopa Troopa of a slightly different color. HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Looks like its ability are just like any Koopa, so he ought to be a piece of cake. Don't go easy just because you know King K, Mario. That's what friends are for. Alright, so now let's stomp on him. Oh, wow. I'm gonna have to get a listen to all these battle themes. You got us as a winner, the great Gonzalez. See, no biggie. Don't click. And as you rank up, the more coins you get, which is good actually, because I want to actually grind some money, especially from this chapter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, way to hand out, way to hand out a beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I didn't really use a hammer, but sure. Here we go. Ranked match. Mixing for our fights. The next opponent will be in rank 17, the Pokey Triplets. Now, I do believe I've uh, tattled on the pokies. I want you to avoid swapping your partners out. Oh, okay. So then if I did the pokies, hang on. 
Now, I'm pretty sure I tattled on them, so I can just, uh... Whoop. <laughs> the old bait-and-switch. You think they totally gross... So you think they make it totally gross so fighters will try harder to advance? You know what? That's probably a smart idea. Yeah, we're gonna use coops for this one. I just have to not switch partners. Wait, I didn't? I I could have swore I did. These are regular pokies. I would have done that in the Pit of a Hundred Trials. The Spike Terror Triplets. A fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets. I'll try not to get your way, Mario. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. Get you ready to bottle! If I actually do like see the the HP bar, yeah, so I did tattle on them. It was at the pit of 100 trials. I just have to not swap partners. That's it. Here we go. Now just give it the old power shell. Hell, I might even be able to, uh, I might even be able to level up in this chapter. We did it, Mario. Wow. Not bad. The next one is Dead Bones. It just has three dull bones. I'm pretty sure I got these ones from Hooktail. <laughs> hey, what's cracking, G-Man? Did you just finish beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you that room is absolutely off limits? If we want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too, it's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the Glitz Pit. Understood? Hmm. Again, dude? Man, you're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring the rules queen in, or didn't bring the rules queen in here. Ah, uh, don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolie can take that toot and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? Oh, you know, no particular reason. Now, if you folks pardon me, I must be off. He's going back out there. <laughs> He's going to get banned immediately. Let me uh, take a rest here for a second. Just going to get himself banned in the glitz pit immediately if he just keeps doing that. Alright, so next ranked match, boy howdy. Ranked 16 in the Glitz Pit, the Dead Bones. Ellis, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once. I want to see how you do when you ain't got something to beat a fella with. Now get in there and let's see some acrobatifying. You do realize that my... Actually, can my shoes be strong enough then? I would feel like, like I just got my super shoes or super boots from Boggly Woods. I would be able to have my feet strong enough to take care of the dull bones. I was going to just bring coops. My god, they have yellow shoes. The bone banging rockers, a fight to the finish with the dead bones. 
I'm gonna take the skin off your butt. <laughs> a missed opportunity to say, let's rattle them, boys. <laughs> let's rattle them. So just not use your hammer. All right. Oh yeah. The super boots are strong enough to hit the dry bones of their defense. Cool. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all I had to do. We won? Cool. That fight took like a minute. <laughs> I feel like that's literally all the, like, most jobber matches. And I've, I've seen a lot of wrestling in my time. Alright, so what's the next one? Dull Bones, two Spinies, and one Lakitu. So that's one that I'm gonna have to use Goombella for. Man, I heard you just knock some blocks off. Not bad, Double G, man. You're the real deal, the realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. If anyone gives you lip, you just tell them King K said to back it up. Bazow! Ah, hurts! Keep quiet. My foot! Oh, you're fine, just shut up. Up like fresh air. Ah! Do we have a gag, maybe? Come get a grip, will you? Out of the way, up there. Whoa, sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Oh, I'll be uh, just fine. I'm pretty sure I won't rupture my mustache or anything. Get a few bumps on my nose. Your next opponent will be ranked 15, Spike Storm. In this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them their special moves. Okay, so the star power. I think the crowd's craving a nice long battle at its simplest and finest. Alright. So I just need to not use my star power. Easy pickings. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Midnight Spike Bombers. Yep, a fight to finish with Spike Storm. We're gonna spike bomb you into submission, punks. Get ready yourselves to battle. Ooh. Just the starting part of that song, just like, ooh. It's very tingly. All right, time to tattle on the spinies. That's a spiny, basically a spiked covered Koopa. Ugh, looks painful. HP is three, attack is three, and defense is three. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. So when they go back to normal, all they they uh, do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense is zero. That's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so try using a POW block or some other item. Which is what I came here for. Here we go. I think they get up super fast, too. Yeah. Wait, why did I try to super guard that? All right. Lakitu. That's a Lakitu. It's, it's a member of the Koopa clan that rides on clouds. I never, I never would have guessed that Lakitu is part of a Koopa. HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs. If you stomp on it when it's holding up a spiny egg, you take some damage, so don't do it. 
Spiny eggs will slowly hatch into spinies, so beat the Lakidu before finding the spinies. Oh, this book doesn't answer my real question. Where does it keep all those spiny eggs? Good question. Maybe he's the one that creates them. There we go. So now we're just going to figure out how to attack this thing. Whoop. Oh, mushroom coming my way. They also have shells and they're similar to Koopas. Yeah. I want to use my Thunder Rage, but not for a small guy. Use his Dizzy Dial. See if he gets confused and not throwing it at us. Oh yeah, that actually did the trick. He dropped the spiny shell. Fuck. Yeah, it actually drops the spiny shell, so I have an opportunity. Awesome. The great Gonzalez. What did you expect, huh? We rock. All right, here's your fight money of 10 coins. <laughs> we'll be able to get all this fight money back in no time. We've, we've also only made it just past like one fourth. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside is getting a new menu item that uses a mystic egg. Did you know? Their hot dogs can restore your HP and FP during a match. That's some serious nutrish. I'm not sponsored yet. Just excited about some probably amazing hot dogs. You ought to snack out on one. So I take it I should actually go out there and check. Check out about those hot dogs. I had like a really good breakfast with uh oh god here we go get the fuck out of here <laughs> get the fuck out of here this crowd is not only for rock hawk come on get out of here <laughs> rock me <laughs> hurt me more rock there you go now you have no fans hey you that ain't cool don't beat all my fans just because you ain't got none. <laughs> do, 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 do. No, stop it once. This behavior is unacceptable in the food stuff. I insist you desist. Oh no, the egg. No, please come back to me! Someone help! My rare imported egg has escaped! Please catch it! Uh oh. Whoa, what? I thought I caught it. Oh, I got it. Okay. I guess it's got a good hit detection. Absolutely unacceptable in a polite society! I insist you come down at once, Egg. How am I to reach you up there? Fly? Like a common sparrow? <laughs> and it just falls asleep. Okay. Oh, you know what? It probably dropped frames when I was, like, opening up Wiki. Or, like, going through my browser. <clears throat> Maybe that's what it was. All right, so do I want to pick either the black Yoshi or the blue one? I, I feel like the black one would be cool. So I'm going to have to like put in a timer here. Uh, hello. What a colorful egg. Must be a good one. Hmm? I mean, you've seen it jump. So talented. But jeepers creepers. I sure wouldn't want to try to eat it. I mean, ow. 
I don't eat moving things. Huh? Did you hear that, Mario? You don't want to be eaten, little eggy weggy. It's so adorable. What should we do, Mario? Should we help? Let there be hot dogs. <laughs> Come on, Mario. That's just tasteless. Seriously, don't scare the little guy. Try not to be childish, will you? Mr. Hot Dog Stand Guy, it looks like this egg doesn't want to be eaten. It's okay to let it go, right? Oh, very well. Fine, I suppose there's not much market for cuisine that jumps anyways. Awesome, did you hear that? You're free, see you around. What is it now? You wanna follow us? Is that it? I'm pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let it? Sure. You're that little guy? Just make sure you're not getting in our way though, okay? Right, start. So yeah, the moment it joins us, so then we hurry back to our match and it should be able to work. Next opponents, ranked 14, the handed overs. In this battle, I want you to avoid using your jump. No jumping whatsoever. I want to see a pure test of power without none of that flouncing around. Okay, you got it, boss. Am I really going to have to do this in, like, 18 minutes? I mean, if it resets the timer, then I'm going to have to just wait another 20 minutes, but... I don't think I would want to do that. The Grim Death Burglars, the Handed Overs! <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Get ready to bottle! So it looks like we're gonna have to use our Quake Hammer. All right. Uh. That's a bandit. This gumbag tries to bump you and grab coins, jerk. HP is five, attack is two, and defense is zero. If you time your guard well when he attacks, he won't be able to steal anything. Plus, the look on a bandit face when you guard successfully is priceless. Oh yeah, they go like... Wah, 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 wah. If a bandit steals coins from you, defeat him before he flees to get your coins back. Aww. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Oh, they took my mushroom. Oh shit, okay. Uh, don't use your jump. You're giving the old tattle on the big bandit. That's a big bandit. Basically a boss among ordinary bandits. HP is eight? <laughs> Attack is three and defense is zero. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as your coins. Totally weak. If he guard well when he charges at you, he'll blow by without stealing anything. If he robs you, you won't get your item back unless you beat him right then. He'll run. Alright, well, uh... hi -yaw! I think they're probably gonna run away here. Well, except that guy. Aw, oh, don't do this to me now. I'm already past four minutes. I mean, defense is still good. Nah, they're gonna run away. Well, you know what? That's still fine. That's still fine, I guess. Even if it was still a dried shroom and a mushroom, it's I still win. That's just fine by me. 
If it was if it was my life shroom though, then Jesus Christ. That would have been some rotten luck. <laughs> 